right. Hey, everyone. How's it going? It's your brother, Noah Hines. I hope that you guys are blessed in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I praise God in the name of Jesus for this opportunity to pray for your deliverance. Thanks be to God who has provided us deliverance because of the atonement of Jesus Christ, because of what Jesus Christ has accomplished on the cross, that we can be free from the chains that bind us. The Word of God says that Jesus Christ came to set the captives free. So if you have any type of bondage, and uh, particularly bondage in the area that the title of this video indicates, I'm going to be praying for your deliverance today in the name of Jesus. I'm going to be praying that you would be delivered from spirits of abandonment, spirits of betrayal, spirits of brokenheartedness, and all different things of that nature. As you guys already know, I'm going to be calling out spirits that are correlated to this as well too. So before we start the prayer, I want to encourage you guys in the name of Jesus Christ to forgive all of those who have wronged you. There's been so many times where I've encountered testimonies from people on our deliverance services that we hold from time to time. And they've said things like, I thought that I had forgiven somebody, but the Lord showed me I didn't in actuality. So I know there's, there's many of you uh, that are listening to this video that are in that state right now. You just uh, uh, presumptuous, presumptuously assumed you've forgiven somebody, but there wasn't a deep heart release of forgiveness towards that person. So I'm believing in Jesus' name as we pray today that you'll be able to, you know, give that forgiveness towards that person. But also, you know, you want to align your, to have the right heart, heart posture and to pray to the Lord to break up the foul ground that God would show you any hidden bitterness, that God would show you any hidden unforgiveness or resentment. And what I can say as well too is, you know, if you struggle with this abandonment and being betrayed and having these soul wounds, don't have a victim mentality. You are more than an overcomer through Jesus Christ who loves you. The Bible says it is thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. So don't allow yourself to have this disposition of feeling like a victim, you know, feeling uh, like you have to be in agreement with abandonment. Don't let that be associated with your identity going forward in Jesus' name because you are accepted in the beloved. If you are truly in Christ, if you're a new creature, you're totally accepted by Father God right where you're at. You know, even if uh, you're one day born again, you know, you're totally accepted by Father God. You're a co-heir with the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, obviously, the question is, are you truly on that path of sanctification? But uh, I'm, I'm, you know, addressing the saints of God and I'm believing in Jesus name that God is drawing people who are genuine uh, to listen to this prayer, obviously. So I'm going to pray for you guys now in the name of Jesus Christ that God would set you free, that God would deliver you. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I thank you for this brother or sister who is watching this prayer. I pray that they would be set free in a powerful way in the name of Jesus. <clears throat> Father, I pray that unclean spirits would already begin to manifest in the name of Jesus Christ. All demonic spirits that came in through a foundation of abandonment from one's family. Father God, I pray in the name of Jesus that the spirit of abandonment that came in at one, two, three, four, five years old, or even while still in the womb, or all throughout childhood, that Father God, this person would be healed of all curses of abandonment, all wounds of abandonment. Father God, any spirits associated with abandonment, false identity associations, demonic vagabond spirits, uh, spirits of orphan, orphan spirits. Lord, we pray that they would be severed in the name of Jesus and that the listener of this video would truly be able to associate themselves with the identity of who they are as a child of God. Father, your word says we've been loved with an everlasting love. Your word says we are accepted in the beloved. So I pray that the truth of your word would set my brother or sister free in the name of Jesus right now, Father. Your word says, where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Father God, I pray every soul wound would be healed in the name of Jesus. Soul wounds that came from betrayal, 
soul wounds that came from a Judas in somebody's life. Father God, all demonic spirits of hardness of heart that came in through broken relationships, failed engagements, failed relationships, failed marriages even. In the name of Jesus Christ, you wicked spirits of betrayal, you wicked spirits that are continually sabotaging them because of this hurt that they've gone through. Lord, I pray that the deep emotional pain and hurt would go today in the name of Jesus. Emotional pain that is manifesting in anger. Emotional pain that is manifesting in a victim mentality. Emotional pain that is manifesting in rebellion, in an antichrist spirit. Emotional pain that is manifesting in escapism and false comfort in all diverse forms. I pray in the name of Jesus, Father, that you would expose it and drive it out of their lives right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Father God, I pray that you would uproot every thorn, every thistle, every weapon of the enemy that has been brought into their soul, brought into their heart, that is continually piercing them, causing them to experience that pain over and over again. That is not of God in Jesus' name. That is not of God to keep being re-wounded, to keep experiencing that pain from an event that happened a long time ago. Every demonic spirit that makes people live in the past because of abandonment, betrayal, and heartbreak, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ for freedom, Heavenly Father, that they would be able to forget the things that are behind and press onward to the high calling of Jesus Christ. Every unclean spirit that hears the sound of my voice, come out in the name of Jesus. Self-rejection, self-destruction, self-mutilation, all spirits that cause destruction against oneself that came in through betrayal, heartbreak, etc. We command it to go in the name of Jesus. You demonic spirits that have caused people to give up on relationships, that have caused people to give up on interacting with others. That isolation that's associated with abandonment, we command it to go in the name of Jesus. Any spirits of abandonment that came in through trauma in the childhood where one's parents were not there to comfort them, where one's parents were not there to restore them, I pray in the name of Jesus for freedom. Whether it was a car crash, whether it was being separated from your parents, whether it was some kind of infirmity, some kind of trauma, some kind of abuse. Father God, any unclean spirits of abandonment that came in by the fact that parents were not there to safeguard them through that experience, I pray that you would set them free, Father God, from this abandonment in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I command every unclean spirit to come out of the mouth, the eyes, however you spirits have to manifest, Come out in the name of Jesus Christ right now. We command you spirits to go to the abyss in the name of Jesus Christ. We command you spirits to come out all the way up and out and go where Jesus Christ is sending you right now. Look at Jesus Christ, you wicked spirits, and go where he's sending you. You demons that are manifesting in the emotions. Spirits that manipulate the emotions. Spirits that are seated in the emotions. Come out in the name of Jesus Christ right now. Every demonic spirit that came in through shock, that came in through PTSD, that came in through attacking somebody when they weren't guarded for a breakup, when they weren't guarded for being betrayed, when they weren't guarding their heart. God, your word said to guard our hearts for all the issues of life flow from it. In the name of Jesus, every unclean spirit that came in through a sudden traumatic end to a relationship, a sudden traumatic uh, interaction with a close, a, a loved one, a friend, a family, that, a member that was close. You spirits of rebellion, hatred, bitterness, resentment that came in through rejection and abandonment. Come out in the name of Jesus Christ right now. Come out, you wicked spirits. We command you to flee. Demonic spirits of entitlement, demonic spirits that cause people to feel entitled, uh, entitled, prideful, haughty with regards to relationships, 
with regards to interacting with others, every spirit of pride that blocks humility in relationships, every demonic spirit of abandonment that caused people to not formulate, to not develop proper communication skills, you demonic spirits that cause people to be passively aggressive, every demonic spirit of rebellion, Leviathan, that causes people to be to interact with others through passive aggression. I command you to come out. Fear of confronting others. Go. Fear of setting boundaries. Go in the name of Jesus Christ. Come out, you wicked spirits, right now. Flee. Come out, you wicked spirits. We command you to flee in the name of Jesus. The word of God said, if we submit ourselves to God and resist the devil, the devil will flee. Well, Satan, you are resisted to the uttermost in the name of Jesus Christ. You are resisted through repentance, renunciation, resisting, and removing. Be removed right now, you wicked spirits, in the name of Jesus Christ. Be removed, you wicked spirits, in the name of Jesus Christ. We command you to come up all the way out. We command you to come up all the way out. Come out, you wicked spirits. Come out, you wicked spirits, right now in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Any demonic spirits of worthlessness, vanity, idolatry, self-hatred, etc. that came in through abandonment, we command it to go. The word of God said that Jesus Christ came to heal the brokenhearted. Father God, we pray for this healing in the name of the Lord Jesus right now that their heart would be healed, their soul would be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Father God, that there wouldn't be a negative association with past betrayals and rejections. There wouldn't be this, ne they, that they wouldn't interpret their future based on past trauma, past abandonment in the name of Jesus Christ. Every evil spirit that hears the sound of my voice, come out. Any spirits manifesting through pressure in the head, in the forehead, come out in the name of Jesus Christ right now. Come out in the name of Jesus Christ. You demonic spirits that have caused them to have a fake personality, caused them to want to be something that they are not, go in the name of Jesus. Rejection of oneself, of one's physical appearance, of one's character, of one's personality type, of one's past, of one's life. We break this self-rejection in the name of Jesus Christ right now. Every demonic spirit of fantasy, role-playing, demonic spirits that make people uh, like a chameleon, that make people mirror others, that make people uh, just mirror the behavioral traits of others to fit in, to uh, fit in with others. We command those demons out as the word of God says that we should not be conformed to the pattern of this world, but to be transformed by the renewing of our minds. You demons that cause that passive aggressiveness. I know that God is, is leading me to call you spirits out. I know that God is exposing you spirits. So come out in the name of Jesus. The word of God says, do not bite and devour one another, lest ye be consumed one of another. In the name of Jesus Christ, you wicked spirits of betrayal that cause people to betray others, that cause people to abandon others. We command it out in the name of Jesus Christ. The word of God said, though all men forsake me, I am not alone for the father is with me wheresoever I go. The word of God said in Hebrews, in the book of Hebrews, that I will not fear what man shall do unto me for the Lord is my helper and he is with me wheresoever I go. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command evil spirits to shoot out of the body. All heaviness, leave the body in the name of Jesus. All demonic spirits that make people feel like they have to perform and strive and, and uh, white knuckle grip being accepted by others. We break this deception in the name of Jesus Christ right now. The word of God says in the fear of the Lord, there is strong confidence. Father, fill them with this strong confidence in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every evil spirit, come out. Every evil spirit, come out, come out. Spirits of betrayal that have caused a scar, a wounding in the heart. We command it to go. Demons that cause people to not get to a certain level of closeness. 
that make people put up a wall of defense at a certain level of closeness, a certain level of intimacy. We command it to go. Fear of being hurt. All demonic spirits that cause people to be overtly fearful of being hurt again. We break that fear. That fear of being hurt is not of God. Father, we pray more love, the love of God, to heal every soul wound in Jesus Christ's name. The word of God said perfect love drives out fear. God, I pray you would fill them with your love. The love of the Father in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, may they carry the love of you. May they carry the grace of you, Heavenly Father. May they be filled with the love of God in the name of Jesus Christ. To love others unconditionally, even if they are abandoned. Even if they are rejected or betrayed. Thank you, fa betrayed. Thank you, Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, for that strength, for that wisdom, for that love, to show love unconditionally, not based on how we are treated. Because the Word of God says, if you love those who love you, what thank have you for publicans, for sinners? Do even the same. Father God, I pray that you would help them. To not have their actions, their love, predicated upon the decisions of others. But Father God, based on the leading of your Holy Spirit, based on the principles of your word, Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, every evil spirit has to go, 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 go. Come out, devils, right now. We command you all to flee in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father, for healing broken hearts. Father, heal them at the depths of their soul in the deepest uh, passions, desires, places of their soul, Father God. We pray in the name of Jesus for healing. And any demonic spirits that are attached to emotions that have been trapped in somebody, that have been trapped in their souls, we command those demonic entrapments to release and go in the name of Jesus Christ. All demons that are holding on to bottled up emotions, Come out in the name of Jesus Christ right now. You spirits are defeated and you have to leave. You've been defeated by the love of the Most High God. Thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, that love is the greatest gift, that no demon can withstand the love and power of the Most High God. Thank you, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Heal them, Lord, and fill them with your Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. Fill them, Heavenly Father, with your Holy Spirit, with rivers of living water in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray that the Spirit of God would flow in their lives. Father, that they wouldn't just be used maybe here or there. But, Father God, they would be a vessel for the Spirit of God to flow through into other people's lives. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, we thank you, Father God. We give you praise, Lord. We worship you, Lord. Thank you in the name of Jesus Christ for freedom. I thank you for this brother. I thank you for this sister in Christ. I pray, Father, they'd be totally set free. That every weight, oppression, demonization, heaviness, demonic spirit will lift off them now and release them in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray and declare by faith in the Son of God, the Lord Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you guys in Jesus Christ's name. If you guys are still receiving deliverance, you can watch this prayer multiple times over and spirits will continue to keep coming out of you. And other than that, I pray that you guys are blessed in the name of Jesus. Thank God for the children's bread. Thank God for what the Lord does for us, that he radically changes us, that he transforms us from the inside out. That he sets us free from this darkness that the whole world is battling but doesn't realize that they even have this darkness inside of them. Praise God that the light shines on the darkness and the darkness cannot comprehend it. So I pray that you guys are blessed and go and walk in obedience to Jesus Christ, intimacy with God, that you would seek to know him. Guys, seek to know God. This is eternal life, that they would know the one true God and the one whom he sent, the Lord Jesus Christ. Not just surface level. Don't just say that out loud. But that you would cry out to God with your being and say, God, I need to know you. At a desperate, we need to know God. Not as though it's just a nice thing, but Father God, we need you. As the word of God says, blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of God. Amen. 
So God bless you guys in Jesus Christ's name. I'll see you guys next time. Amen.